Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 21st, 2021. Well, Friday, we saw that volatility continue with another gap down, another whipsaw in the day. It really didn't resolve a whole lot, and unfortunately, we have another overnight reversal that we're dealing with here this morning so as we continue this wild choppy price action then the range of the dow chop zone has has widened to right around 800 points continuing to show us it's it's pretty difficult um, as we whips on reverse back and forth it's pretty difficult for most retail traders to have much of an edge in this market so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it well we've got kind of an interesting day setting up here we have got some earnings reports from home depot um, Home Depot uh, missed on earnings, suggesting consumers are changing here just a little bit. And then we heard from Walmart that easily beat on its earnings reports, but we're seeing a little bit of bearishness coming in um, after that report this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, I got to tell you, it's just another day with the same stuff, um, um, a big um, overnight reversal coming in here anyone that bought on friday running um, into the close uh, probably pretty disappointed this morning with this um, event now at the same time you have to look at this and say yeah but hey we could be right back up even at a new high um, by the end of the day which is true um, taking a look at our charts technically here you'll see that we've got a little bit of a challenge here we've got a support level right down in here that could easily be challenged and then of course this little upside trend we're going to want to watch that pretty closely if that were to break that might actually um, embolden those bears just a little bit for a little bit of a push down so if those bears find inspiration today i would look for a little bit of price support down in this area to maybe catch us and see if we can bounce higher however guys i gotta tell you we've been so wildly bullish here for so long i can't rule out the possibility of a big drop that could occur there's so much wild speculation going on in this market right now if we suddenly get a reversal of fortune here you could see how we could move pretty quickly to the downside and that's likely going to hurt a lot of folks if that were to occur so be careful if we lose that price support then we're looking at some really big point moves uh, back to the downside and if those bulls find inspiration well the only thing i can really do in here is say well um back up to friday's high and if we can break through that well why not retest the highs up here on this big choppy range looking at our technicals here in the chart you can see this morning we have that potential that we could get below that 50-day moving average and that possibility that we could see um well just some follow-through selling if um, the bears uh, get engaged here so watch that close now if we take a look at our spy spy had a good day on friday rallying back up substantially but you'll notice it really didn't resolve anything if we look at the end of the day we still have a gap from the day before and we've got a little bit of a shooting star pattern there and unfortunately we broke this little price support right in here on the day we recovered it by the end of the day but now you can see we're gapping back down gapping lower through that and um, this this little area of support could become uh, the battleground for today for those bulls if they defend then look for us to rally back right up into this choppy zone. If the bears um, engage, well, I'd look for some price support down here. And that could be a pretty painful move, um, but nothing here that would be particularly bearish. Certainly we will have given up the uh, current upside trend, but that's been a steep upside trend. If we pull back into this area right here, you'll notice in the chart, we could be pulling back 
toward that 50 day moving average. And honestly, that's a pretty healthy thing. If we can pull back and hold that 50 day moving average, well then we may just turn around and be all kinds of bullish here um, on a test like that. So watch that closely. Now uh, our QQQ I think remains probably the most vulnerable because it is the most overextended in the short term. And again, we had those buyers stepping in right here at price support came racing back in on those tech stocks on Friday. Um, now they're probably feeling a little bit um, jilted um, by um, the move here in the pre-market. So we'll want to watch that. Keeping in mind, this really could end up being kind of a double top high um, in the chart and then uh, possibly even a lower high from that high right there. So watch that close. If the bears were to engage and push on through this support to the downside, then I would look for some support levels to come into play down in here. You can see there's quite a little bit of price action down in this area that might catch us in that chart. If that fails, obviously we could go quite a bit lower. Um, and knowing that we're breaking, breaking that, that trend, uh, to the upside that could bring maybe just a little bit of fear into the market now if those bulls find that inspiration and, and bounce right back um, then I would expect holding this support in here would push us right back into this chop zone and we do have a little bit of price resistance level that we've started right here we need to pop through that first and then get up into here um, for those bulls to regain some of the control here on the QQQ. And then looking at our moving averages, you could see that pullback down into here would not be a bad thing overall. Certainly painful in the short term, but a pullback into that 200 day moving average, if we hold, notice we got our 50 day rising in here, then at that point we might just settle into a bullish pattern here for the market. But certainly, certainly an awful lot of volatility. There's tremendous speculation going on in this market. And um, there, you probably saw the report with about 45% of the volume of the market going to zero day to expiration options. Um, means that we have turned into a casino um, more than anything else. And those wild speculators out there doing all kinds of gyrations, we can expect the price action to remain pretty challenging going into this week. And then if we take a look at um, our Russell here this morning, um, our Russell also showing a little bit of bearishness here, but this held up better than any index on Friday. As you can see, we pushed push back up pretty substantially here. And you can see that resistance area right here in the chart that we pushed up into. Um, and if we can push on through that with the bulls fighting, I would expect a test up in here. So far, IWM has held up very, very strongly. We might want to keep an eye on this, though. If this were to prove to be the lower high, that pulls a lot of support out of this market. And we'll want to watch carefully if that were to be the case. I would look for um, some support down in here if those bears get going. And I would look for resistance up in here if the bulls find inspiration. And if we take a look at um, our moving averages in here, and you can see just a pullback to that 50-day moving average holding above the 200. That's still a bullish case here for the market. If we can really prove to find support and kind of shake off some of this um, euphoric buying that's been going on. So watch that. Then if we take a look at our VIX, well, our VIX popped up on Friday and then sold off. So here again, we, we continue to show here in the VIX that there's very little fear. And what I believe we're actually showing is a massive amount of complacency in the market. We've gotten into this idea that everyone's missing out. We got to hurry. We got to chase the institutional um, uh, news um, posts and stuff really support that kind of narrative. But I'm worried we could hit that inflection point where suddenly we realize that, well, the Fed is going to raise rates and the consumer may be weakening and yikes, um, then we start to see that fear come in here. Well, 
we're only going to notice a major uh, major problem with fear if we break that downtrend and push up here and actually hold. For now, we don't so show any clues to that. And although we're showing um, quite a little bit of bearishness going into the open this morning, I would expect the QQ, I mean the VIX to gap above that downtrend. We'll see how have to see how it goes from there though. And then if we take a look at our T twenty one twenty two, well our T twenty one twenty two indicator has been really with the market the way we've been whipsawing these huge point moves every day. It's been about as confused as everyone else is, but you can see here today, we're beginning the day, kind of right in here around, or let me say we should, we close the day on Friday, right in here around the mid um, area of the chart. So remember, T2122 doesn't give us direction on the day, it just tells us where those pressure points might be in the market. With a big gap down here this morning, I would expect we're going to be pushing lower. And keep in mind that we've got a big opening to the downside if those bears really engage. But if the bulls jump right back in as they've done here recently, we gap down and immediately see buyers, then look for that opportunity and we've got about an equal opportunity to push to the upside before we reach that overbought condition again. And then if we look at our T2108, our T2108 is the percentage of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average. And we, we pulled back, which was interesting on Friday that we saw us rallying up, but overall T2108 pulled back. We had 66%, about 67% of the stocks holding above their 40-day. And keeping in mind that this area up here is a very overextended area in the chart. It's pretty rare that we can push through there very long. And this is that impression that I've been getting in the market that we're so over exuberant here in the market that we could get that big nasty to the other side um, at any time. So be careful here in the market. Now, if we pull on back, there's a lot of price support right in this area where we're trying to hold on. So nothing bearish here yet in that chart. It's if we start breaking down here pretty hard, that's where we might see a little bit of fear, a little bit of panic um, starting to come into the market. And then if we take a look at T2107, well, our T2107 has also been up here in a very elevated position. And you can see on Friday with this push up being the strongest of the indexes on Friday, it still pulled back just a little bit, which is interesting. We pushed up, which means we really have to have some very select names that are moving up to hold this up and the majority are not showing us that bullishness, which once again gives me that little bit of pause thinking, man, we could really see something snap here uh, pretty easily. And if it does, it could be a little bit on the brutal side. So watch carefully there. But if we pull back in here, um, notice that we've got plenty of um, support levels in this chart to be supportive. Um, in this chart, if um, we were to pull back and hold some of those major moving averages, I would say then no harm, no foul here on these charts. Our uh, T2101, our T20, whoops, T2101 has been about as confused as anything here in the market because we've been working with this market with relatively low volume as we're whipping these big giant moves. And I'm guessing that has to do, guys, with a zero day to expiration option trading that's going on here in the market. Volumes are staying relatively low, getting these big whipsaws here in the market because about, well, we're approaching 50% of the trading in options on a daily basis is this really dangerous um, zero day to, um, to expiration trading, which I think will eventually draw the attention of the SEC uh, because I think it does set us up for that potential that we could have a flash crash here in the market. So I think it will eventually attract the SEC and when that occurs, guys, just be prepared. The SEC will tend to punish everyone in the market, not just those that trade in that speculative manner. So let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, we have a little bit going on here on that to be paying attention to. We've got a PMI composite. We've got um, existing home sales that we'll have to deal with here today. Both of these are potentially market moving. So keep an eye on that. And then as we move on through the day, 
we're going to have several bond auctions so keep an eye on those we've been seeing bonds kind of creeping to the upside with the idea of the fed um, likely going to continue raising rates so you'll want to be keeping a pretty close eye on that and then as we move throughout the week we've got a pretty light day on wednesday um, but of course, FOMC can always, FOMC minutes can always create quite a little bit of volatility and create that situation where we could pause and wait just a little bit for that, um, those minutes. And then Friday or Thursday, we're going to run into those big numbers with the GDP, jobless claims number, petroleum status, and then we've got personal incomes and outlets, the personal PCE. Remember, that is the Fed's favorite number, and we run the risk that that number increased. So again, putting pressure on the Fed to continue pressing that accelerator on the hawkish side, raising those rates, and maybe even raising the ultimate target here in the market. So watch that close. Of course, throughout the week, we're gonna to continue to get Fed speakers. They seem to have a lot to say anymore, collecting those speaking fees. So keep an eye on those um, as they've been out there talking. They've been pretty resolute um, on the fact that we're going to keep raising rates. So um, watch those close. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar is pretty busy um, on the day. We've got a lot going on here. I already mentioned Home Depot and, and uh, Walmart here this morning. And both of those, well, unfortunately, are indicated lower here. Um, um, at the open today after those earnings reports. We're going to hear from um, COIN. COIN would be one of those interesting charts to be paying attention to. An awful lot of speculation going back into this, considering the SEC um, running in to uh, provide restrictions on these um, institutions. So watch that closely. And then we're going to hear from uh, a hostess today. We've got Twinkie out there reporting. We're going to hear from um, HUN. That's pulling back here this morning. We got Ingersoll Rand that um, will be reporting today. Looks like it's pulling back just a little bit here in the pre market. Uh, we've got uh, Louisiana Pacific on that building material side. That could be important. Um, considering the Home Depot numbers here today. Um, we've got Palo Alto um, that we'll be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. And uh, we're going to hear from RIG. RIG has been on a meteoric rise here um, in the market, so watch this one closely um, on how that reports. I'd be kind of careful. And as a matter of fact, if it was me and I'm in that trade, I'm taking the profits and getting the heck out of the way before that earnings report because I think anything is possible. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, also click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that and once again, thank you so much to everyone who shares this, these videos out on your social media feed and then also um, supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link, also just below the title of the video. Let's take a look at a few charts here that are pretty darn interesting, but you'll want to keep in mind um, as the market is moving in these big potential moves, um, anything is possible. So uh, these are just ideas. Don't don't take the take any of these charts as um, you know. Uh, Campbell says this is a great trade. Uh, jump on it. Do your own due diligence and make sure it fits your risk tolerance because there's going to be a lot of volatility I think in this week ahead. Take a look at DKNG. Now DKNG reported a really good earnings report. Very bullish, stretching up here big time to resistance. Now what I would be watching for here is I'd be watching for a little bit of a resting pullback. You can see this uh, move up here is a relatively parabolic move to the upside and um, a rest coming back to trend or even a consolidation over the trend would set up a nice opportunity there. So keep an eye on uh, DKNG. Clearly, we love our gambling because when we look at stocks like, um, whoops, 
When we look at stocks like Wynn Casinos, oh my goodness, we love it. And we're moving up in a big way here. So watch this consolidation move here in Wynn Casinos. Nice little tight consolidation could create a low risk entry if we can find that trend out here. See those buyers stepping back up and you can maybe take that trend off of here and say it should be about ready to go. So watch that carefully on Win, and you can go through others in these symbols, LVS, um, 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 a lot of these stocks have been looking good. PIN, on the other hand, may actually be setting up a bit of a short. If you'll notice in here, we're, we're wedging in this pattern here in the chart and you can see this is possibly a lower high which could bring that short in to bring us right back down here into that lower side of that wedge and losing that support you'll notice right in here this is a bit of a head and shoulders pattern that you might want to be paying attention to you know other places that you might want to be paying attention to since we've got home depot walmart showing a little bit of pressure you might look um, if you're looking for some short trades you like might look for some short opportunities in some of the retail stocks because i'm guessing they'll probably get a little bit of a nasty push down as a result um, we've been racing up in these charts and you can see here in Kohl's once again we have this head and shoulders pattern if this neckline right in here were to break then i would look for more downside or um, more selling to come into a chart like that. You might want to take a look at um, um, CRWD. CRWD, it's a nice looking chart. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. As you can see, I've got an alert on this chart. It started to go early ahead of this trend that I had marked in here. And now we're settling back, as you can see, settling back. So I'm looking for that opportunity that that might pop up in here and give me an opportunity to the long side here on on that chart. Um, also, keep an eye. Um, some of these material stocks, um, they've been really, really strong, and particularly in the uranium area. Take, watch CCJ. Now, this could be negatively affected. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit uncertain about these because as we see the dollar um, trying to strengthen here, moving up in its own little round and bottom breakout pattern, um, I'm becoming a little bit concerned about some of those material stocks, oil, things like that, that may, we may be running into a consumption issue. And what I mean by that is consumers being stressed here, um, not being able to stretch their dollar enough and um, with the rising interest rates. And we could see some of those material sectors move sharply lower. So watch that close. So there's a few charts for you to look at, maybe add to your list today. I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I will see you uh, bright and early uh, Wednesday morning. Hey, I wanna remind everyone that I am doing an e-learning session. It's a free to the public e-learning session tonight. So come on over to Hit Run Candlesticks at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll be here. Y'all are welcome. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you first thing Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.